you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hello everyone in this video i will be showing you the complete guide for the installation of code composer studio version 7.4 along with the installation of dsp bios and ccs compiler for dsp kit dsk 6713 and i will also show you how to write the basic hello world program using dsp kit dsk 6713 so if you are facing any problems in the installation of ccs version 7.4 then don't worry you are at the right place i will be showing you the complete guide for the installation and writing the basic hello world program so let us start first of all uh, you need to download three different items the first one is code composer studio setup this setup and the second one is dsp bios and the third one is ccs compiler version 7.4.4 so you have to download this ccs from the download link uh, is and the download link is provided in the video description you can go to the download link and download ccs version 7.4 so how to download i will show you so first of all you need to download the setup of ccs version 7.4 the link is provided in the video description when you click the link this page will be opened and just scroll down to version 7.4 so here is the version 7.4 if you are using windows then you have to click here at the windows so when you click at this window setup you will be able to download ccs setup and i have already downloaded it so you simply double click the folder and run this setup ccs setup 7.4 but remember make sure to turn off any anti virus softwares before proceeding for the installation so now i will double click the setup press yes and this is how the setup will proceed you have to accept the terms of the license agreement press next press next again and from this list you have to select c6000 power optimized dsp because we will be using a dsk6713 and it belongs to this series so i will be clicking here and press next and here you have to select all these three boxes and press finish So if some pop up appears over here you press allow access and this is how the setup will proceed it will take some time to complete so once the installation is completed this window will be shown and here uncheck launch code composer studio because we have to install dsp bios and compiler before launching code composer studio and just click finish over here now we'll install dsp bios and ccs compiler first we will install ccs compiler the link to download both these setups is provided in the video description so you can go to the video description and download both these files so now first click this dsp ccs compiler just double click to start the setup click next here also click next accept the license agreement and click next select typical from here and click next now before clicking next you have to replace this address which is provided here so you select all this address and delete it and open this readme file which is provided in the video description now you should copy this directory copy it and paste here and then press okay and click next once more time and the setup will be so once the setup is complete click next uncheck this view readme and click finish so the installation of ccs compiler is completed now the third step is to install dsp bios and the setup is again provided in the video description so i have already downloaded it double click this setup press yes click okay 
and you don't need to change anything in the settings and just press next to complete the installation of DSP BIOS. Now click finish. Now the most important thing after the installation of DSP BIOS is setting up the environment variables. To do this, double click the text file provided in the video description and follow these instructions. So first of all, we need to go to control panel, systems and security and system. So press windows icon, right control panel, click the control panel, then go to systems and security. Then in this list, go to system and from the right side pane, click advanced system settings. And in this window, select environment variables and from the lower half, click path and then click edit. Here, these two paths, the last two have already been added. Let me delete and re-add both to show you how to add. Now click new and again go to the readme file and copy the first directory written over here. and click new and paste over here and press enter. Follow the same instruction for the second directory. Select the second directory, copy it and again go to environment variable window, click next and paste over here and press enter. And you select OK, OK and OK and close this text file also. So by using this procedure, you have successfully set up the environment variables. Now we will run Code Composer Studio and remember one more point that you need to run CCS always by administrator. So right click and run as administrator. Click yes. Now it will ask you about the workspace directory. You can always change it from this browse button but let's keep it the same and press OK. Now the CCS main window will be opened. Here I, I will now CCS installation along with DSP BIOS and CCS compiler is now completed. Now in the second part of this video, I will be showing you how to create a basic project by using CCS 7.4 along with DSP kit 6713. So to do this, we have to create a new project. Go to file, click new and click CCS project. Another window will be opened. Here you need to type the name of the target device. So our target device is 6713. So just type it here 6713 and from this drop down list it will also come in the suggestions. So you select DSK 6713 and then you need to set up the connection because CCS version 7.4 only supports emulator. It doesn't support simulator so you need to select a proper emulator from here. So for this particular device DSK 6713 the emulator is this one Spectrum Digital TSK EVM easy DSP onboard USB emulator. So select this one and type any name over here. So let's say I name it as test project. And from this compiler version list, you have to select TI version 7.4.4, which is automatically selected. Then because we our target is just to show you how to create a project for uh, for hello world. So I will select the basic project from this, this template, hello world, and click finish. It will set up the project for you. And here is the test project. And this is the main file, which is hello.c. So this is the C code for this particular file containing only the command printf hello world. Now I will show you how to build this project and run this project to see the output hello world but before doing this i will show briefly the connections and the dsp kit along with this demo so this is our dsp kit which is dsk 6713 so before running the hello world program on ccs i will show you uh, how to connect this kit with pc or laptop and then i will show you how to run the hello world program so uh, here in this dsp kit this one is the port to insert the power cable and this one is the port to insert the USB cable. So first of all, I will insert the power cable. So this is the power cable and I will be inserting it in this port. 
and this is the second end of USB port and I will connect this USB port to this location. And the second end of this port will be connected with the USB port of the laptop or PC. So here you can see that DSP kit is now connected with the laptop uh, and this is indicated by the uh, turning on of the LEDs. Now we will move towards the CCS again. So viewers, now I will show you how to run the program Hello World on uh, CCS uh, version 7.4. Uh, using DSP kit DSK6713 after having the connection successfully. Before proceeding further, we have to uh, download and copy a library file rts6700.lib and paste it in the corresponding directory. The library file is also provided in the download link. And this is the library file. This one, we will simply copy it here and go to the installation directory which in our case is C, then you need to go to TI and then CCS v7, here you have to go to tools, compiler and then this compiler and inside this folder you have to go to library. So I've also shown the complete path to copy this file in the video also. So you simply paste this file over here so you can see rts6700.lib is now successfully pasted here. Now we will go to CCS and we will rebuild the program. For this, you need to right click on the test project and click rebuild project. So the project build is complete. Now we will have to run this project. For this, we will press this debug test project over here. When we'll click this, it will debug and run. It will take a few seconds. And you see the program is held at this particular line number 8. Then you need to place a breakpoint at the line where return 0 is written. For this you just need to double click here and you see here is the breakpoint. Now once this breakpoint is placed you simply need to run the file to see the hello world displayed in the output. Now this is the button or you can also press F8. Now I will click this run and you see here is the hello world that is being successfully displayed once the code is run by using CCS on DSP kit DSK6713. So that's all for this complete tutorial. Hope you have learned a lot and stay tuned to our channel. Thank you for watching.